Mm hmm Right there. Hey everyone, Grimer here, coming at you once again from Cerro Gordo Zoo. We're back here, doing some more work, doing some more Zawa fun for you guys to enjoy. And uh, and you guys killed it again last week with the name suggestions for the rattlesnake. A lot of really great suggestions. In fact, two of them I really, really liked. But I only had one rattlesnake, so I was torn. And as you saw from that earlier clip right there, I went and caught another one. I, there was one right on that ridge behind me there I remember seeing weeks ago, and it's it was still there. So I went ahead and, and snagged that one as well. So, that means that I actually have two rattlesnakes, so you guys convinced me to go grab another one. But, uh, before we get on with the rest of the episode, let's get on down and do some naming. Now, as always, I would like to say that, uh, thank you to everybody who submits a name for any animal in the zoo. And if I did not pick your guys' name, uh, do not fret, there's plenty of animals to be named, and we're gonna have to go through a lot of them, I'm sure. So keep on submitting them. And uh, hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll I, I kind of pick these ones based on ones I think that are funny or are fun, however I'm feeling that day. It's kind of a hit or miss. It's sort of random. But first off, I would like to say thank you to uh, several people. We're going to name one of the rattlesnakes Jake. From Rattlesnake Jake, that's uh, that's apparently a rattlesnake in the movie Rango. I've never actually seen that one, so I'm a little confused. But apparently it's a snake in there uh, because multiple people <laughs> said it. Uh, Matt Myers, Jorn Connings, and uh, Santiago Cabrera. Thank you all for suggesting the name Jake. Uh, I think I got everybody. There was a lot of people that actually suggested that one, so I'm, hopefully I didn't miss anybody there. So thank you guys for naming that one. And for the second one, now the, the one that I just caught, this is the one that I had to go out and do this. We're going to give a big shout-out to Maddie out there. Okay, so Maddie, if you guys remember, helped me last season. And um, and she helped me collect a lot of resources and helped me build wild... Or she didn't help me build uh, Wildwood, but she helped me collect an incredible amount of resources. And she suggested William Snakespear. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna call this one William Snakespear. Bam, there we go. So we got our two names. Now I do want to give a quick shout out because if I had more snakes, I'd absolutely put them in there. I did do a quick look around. The only one that I knew of finding was up on that ridge there. But shout out to Ryder Branscombe and uh, Simon Holmes. You guys came up with uh, each came up with uh, Snake Gyllenhaal and Salazar respectively. Uh, so I think those are excellent names. And if I had more snakes, that's what I'd be naming them. But unfortunately, I do not. So we're gonna have to go with the ones that I do have here. Any visitors in here? Any visitors? Sometimes there's visitors. No, I don't think there's any visitors this time around, at least. Uh, all right, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have any more snakes, so we're gonna have to go with uh, the two that I do have now. Uh, originally, I was only planning one, one, but you guys just you guys killed it with the naming thing again. It was just awesome. Oh, I hear the one. I hear the one that's awake over here. Now, is this thing gonna like murder my face? I never did test the uh, tiny cactus things uh, from uh, that I was wanting to the other day. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me, uh, like these snakes, for example. Let's go ahead and grab some stuff here so we can find out some info on these snakes. As well as, I got uh, 11 darts. Hopefully that's enough. All right, let's pop this thing open here. Go in here with rattlesnakes. Actually, we're going to kind of put this one back into sleep mode here right now just to make sure that he doesn't get me. What did we say this one was right here? Okay, so this is Reese Slitherspoon, and Reese Slitherspoon is a female. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, put this one down right here on, the, on this. And it doesn't look like they are affected by that, which is good. This is going to be Jake. If I can get it, Jake, there we go. And Jake is a female. What do you know? All right, we're gonna put the other one down here and this is gonna be William Snakespear and William Snakespear is a male. All right, let's get out of here before these things eat my face. <laughs> there we go, the rattlesnakes have been added. We have three of them in the zoo now. Look at that, look at me go. I got, I went and caught another one. Looks like the uh, cactuses aren't gonna hurt them. That's good. That was supposed to be a quick test. All right, onto the rest of the episode. Speaking of the rest of the episode, right across from the, the snakes here, we're going to be putting uh, probably the final exhibit here in the Reptile Center. That's kind of crazy to think about, that the Reptile Center is actually coming to an end. Wow. Okay, I mean, like, it can it can actually get more added to it. Oh, man, that's going to get annoying real fast. It can get more, more added to it for sure. But for right now, it's going to be ending here. We're going to go ahead and seal this up, kind of make this look kind of nice and pretty-ish. I might need to grab, yeah, I'm going to need to grab more stone hole. Let me see, uh, ground backpack. No, not plants. Wrong one. I should have probably waited on the rattlesnakes because I can tell those things are going to drive me insane. Ground backpack. There we go. Grab some more blocks here. And we're going to go ahead and drop these things in here. Just kind of make this look like it is the end of the tunnel, which that actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work just fine. 
All right, over here, the neighbors to the snakes, now they're all awake and they're rattling at me, you can actually see their little little rattles kind of going back and forth. Look at that. Um, over here, we're going to be putting the Gila Monster exhibit. Or the, not the Gila Monster. I said it wrong. I'm sorry. You guys are going to crucify me in the uh, in the comments. The Gila Monster, okay? You guys have told me that that's how you pronounce it, Gila Monster. Now, these are apparently venomous lizards that live in, like, the southwest part of the United States. Um, I guess I never really knew that. I never really gave that much attention to them before. I actually live lived in that area of the world for about almost two years, so you think I would have probably paid a little bit more attention, but ah, nah, I was oblivious to my surroundings. But first off, we have to clear out a spot for these things. Now, they actually live in kind of like this environment as well. They live in like shrubland, so it's going to be a very similar looking build, I think, but I kind of want to change it up a little bit. I want to add a little bit more grass to it because they can be found in like woodland areas, but they don't really live in like plains. They like a lot of cover. So I'm thinking stone mixed in with some grass mixed in there. Probably some of that uh, that yellow uh, sandy grass. I might have some of that. Do I have any of that? What do I even have? I don't think I have any of it in there. What about in the ground backpack? No, I'll, I'll find some. I know that there's a, there's a biome nearby. If I need to, I'll go grab more. But it all starts first with digging this area out. And there we go. Check it out. We got ourselves a nice little cave here. That actually wasn't too bad. Ooh, 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 ooh. hold on one second. I forgot something. Forgot a little something, something up there. I actually kind of leave that the way the shape it is. I just want to eat that up in there instead. All right, there we go. Now we got a cave. Eh, one little thing. We're gonna throw that in the miscellaneous bag. All right. So now we have to get going on actually decorating this place. And definitely want to do a little bit more, like I said earlier, about you know having it be sandy and whatnot. Now, these things stopped rattling. Ooh, it looks like I closed it. They stopped rattling, which I was thinking, yeah, it's nighttime. So if I'm going to be going anywhere, I'm going to want to be taking a nap because creepers be creeping. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect a couple of blocks here to redo the groundwork because right now it's just stone. Now, I do actually want to have there be, like, stone in here, but I'm probably going to switch that out to be, like, cobblestone little uh, chunks, stone piles and whatnot. I want to make this a little bit bigger than, say, even the, uh, the rattlesnake exhibit because I want to be able to give these guys little places to duck under. Now, I don't want to make them not visible to the viewer, but I do want to give them a little places to kind of hide. So let me go grab some blocks here because I don't think I have any on me that I really want to... Well, I mean, I have some on me that I want to use, like the cobblestone and whatnot, but I want to grab some of that sandy grass uh, and, uh, and then put that in there because I think it's going to look really good. Now, to get some of this stuff, I probably have some in storage, but I'm actually going to take a little bit of a trip. Wouldn't mind getting out and stretching my legs every once in a while, but it's right here. This stuff right here. There's some lions up there. I should probably steer clear of them. Uh, this stuff right here is what I'm talking about. In fact, you can see I cleared out some stuff here last time I was here. Ooh, some root screw. Is that something I can... Oh, no, that's just the tree above. Okay, never mind. I got all excited for no reason. Uh, let me grab my shovel here. Let's grab Silky Dampy out here. Let's shave off a little top layer of this right here. Cause, so this stuff right here, uh, right here, sandy grass blocks is what I'm talking about. Now, they probably look a lot like just regular grass blocks, but if there's any elevation change, it's going to really change the way it looks. And I think that's going to be uh, kind of at a welcome touch. Now, I don't need a whole lot of this stuff. I just need to kind of sprinkle it in there. So maybe I'll grab like a stack one here. And then we'll call it good. 
Oh, there's a skeleton there. Careful, tease it, tease it. Get him. Got him. There's another. Oh, block that one. To war. Got him too. All right, so there's some visitors here apparently. <laughs> Remember, Cerro Gordo Zoo, similar to Wildwood Zoo, is not what you'd call a super safe area. Hey, check it out. Master Ugwe is up and moving around. Hi, Master Ugwe. Uh, he's hanging out over there by where the oh, leg spike, where the uh, where the food is. Like, open this up. I'm hungry. Uh, all right, so yeah, Cerro Gordo, the Cerro Gordo, just like uh, or Zoo, just like uh, Wildwood Zoo, is not exactly what you call a super safe spot. But all right, I went ahead and grabbed this. I also grabbed uh, a little bit of the sandy dirt itself and made some more coarse sandy dirt because that's gonna come in real handy. But I think this is the block pelt that I'm gonna be kind of settling on here. Let me organize this a wee bit so it actually kind of makes a little bit of sense. Uh, I do want to, also. I need some. Uh, hold on, I'm not. That's not. That's not. Hold on. Let's uh, get these out of my inventory. I just collected those. Um, uh, bat backpack. I need you desperately in my life. Let's grab some coarse sandy dirt as well. And we're going to be sprinkling that in here, too. So I need to replace this ground. Now, it does say that uh, the Gila monsters actually do, like, gravitate towards water sources on the wiki, at least. So they can be found a lot of times in your puddles and stuff. So putting at least a block of water in here might make sense. But I'm worried that they're going to drown in it. Because I think they're kind of small. And I, I don't want to I don't want to kill them. So maybe I'll put, like, a, a, a cauldron with water instead. Because I don't think they'll drown in that. So we're going to plan this without water just for now. But I do need to replace this entire ground with uh, kind of like the, the land that I'm thinking of. Now, I did not grab... Ooh, there's a, that's darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Um, I did not grab um, enough blocks to cover this entire area. So this might actually be one of those kind of build it as we go things. But let's go ahead and do the center part here and try to get like the basic pattern for the ground down ground down that kind of rhymes um ooh, darkness again uh and then hopefully it comes out to look in kind of like a dry airy arid rocky wasteland kind of look starting off with this block okay like that i mean that's not the finished product at all but that's that's kind of like the base color of what i was going to go for right there now obviously i'm going to be adding path blocks and whatnot in there but i'm going to continue this up here a little bit now i wouldn't mind if these like elevation changes here actually were more like rockier outcroppings in fact hold on one second i kind of like the idea of adding more depth to this because this looks like a big flat open field so what if i hold on one second let me fix them i'm going to dig this down right here i'm going to actually change this up a little bit all right there we go i kind of like that a little bit better maybe because i'm trying to think like how do i eh. nah actually you know i could probably work with this I can probably work with this. Uh, th actually, you know what? I can work with it by peeling this back a little bit. I think that's the right call right there. So that way, it adds a little bit of elevation change to it. I gotta obviously replace a lot of this granite here. Adds a little bit of elevation change to it over here, but then this gives me a spot to add some more bushes and shrubs and stuff like that. It doesn't, and plus, having a elevation rise up over here and also rise up over there kind of looks a little symmetrical. And you know me, if you've been watching any of my my series, you know that I don't I don't really like symmetry. I like things to be asymmetrical, uh, asymmetrical, because I think that that looks a little bit more interesting. Interesting then. So let's go ahead and replace all the ground over here and get it looking similar to this over here. Alright, there we go. The land is in. It looks pretty good, I'm thinking. I don't even mind this little bit sticking up right here. I think that looks good. Alright, yeah, this is all coming together. Now I do just I just put away all those blocks. I do kind of want to blend this into here a little bit. Although, maybe I'll leave that stone actually because it's kind of fitting the way that it blends in. In fact, what I can do is I can actually blend that in a little bit better with right here so that it actually kind of uh, blends in to the ground a little bit yeah a couple of little blocks like that changes the whole outlook on the thing let's actually throw in right there too there we go all right so it kind of blends into that more i could also throw some like grass blocks or something or any of the ones i just grabbed actually up onto the ridge here itself to kind of make that kind of that more of a seamless transition uh but i don't really know if it's super necessary to add any more Man, let's do one more right here like that and then maybe we'll change this to be a little bit of gravel just to add a little block diversity to the whole thing and then let's take a peek at that all right yeah that's looking pretty good now this is more of like a 90 degree cutoff right here this is like a, a stone wall so there is no transition into nothing there i think that that's just fine the way it is okay so now we got to add a little bit of decoration and pizzazz to this so what we're going to do is we're going to inhale a chicken <sighs> another one all right, there we go. Chicken inhaled. All right, <laughs> let's let's go ahead and make a couple of. Uh, that's not how you play Minecraft. I know how to do this. 
<laughs> I've been playing a different game that is very similar to Minecraft, which will probably be coming to the channel here shortly. I'm going to leave it a secret. Those of you who are on my Patreons, uh, or my patrons, they know what I'm talking about. But uh, it's similar to Minecraft, and it's been kind of throwing me off of how to do crafting recipes and stuff. It's really kind of taking over my brain. But uh, let's go ahead and add, like, a stone pile in here. Some place where it would be kind of expected for them to kind of hide in a little bit. Uh, let's get the gravel over here, too. Because uh, they do, according to Wiki, these things really do like to kind of chill out and hide in rocks and gravel and stone and stuff. And so I do want to add a couple of them in here in places. Like, even, like, chunks like this right here. Let's take the scra uh, sand out here, right here. And we're going to build, like, a little mini one right in there. That's fine, actually, the way it is. Maybe, hold on, wait, maybe, maybe it's not. Hold on, let's uh, do that and then... Uh, pop that out, put gravel in there, and pop that out and put gravel in there as well. That's looking pretty good. All right, so I got a couple of little uh, piles of rocks there, something for them to hide in. Now, this they, the wiki does say, and I'm going off the wiki here because I don't know a thing about these things, uh, that they like to live in like a brushland area too. So I have uh, an actual brushland here in Biomes of Plenty that I could go and look at if I was a responsible person and really wanted to see what they, they did with it. But nah, we're going to go off uh, whatever we want on this one. So let's go ahead and whip out the bat backpack. I did go ahead and collect some more dead leaves. Like I said last episode, I desperately needed to. Hell bark leaves are a little trickier to come by, but in an arid environment like this, I think that's squeezing them in there. Gonna be good. They're found in hell on small little bushes and stuff, and they really don't drop saplings that often. In fact, I don't know if I even have any. So we're going to go ahead and sprinkle these in in places, too, especially like right around the edge right here, I'm thinking. The hellbark leaves will be the interior of the, the bush itself. Uh, let's pop this off because it's starting to look a little blocky, which I know it's Minecraft, but hey, you know. <laughs> um, let's do something like that. That looks all right. And then uh, I kind of want to do another one, maybe like right back in here. We're going to add some vegetation to this to give this a little bit of a... Uh, a shrubland look actually now shrublands they don't have a lot of vegetation but they do have they do have like small bushes and, and uh thorns and whatnot now we're not going to be putting thorns in here because obviously that will kill them and that's not what i'm all about <laughs> but i do want to make sure that i get those things put in place too before we continue on all right so i'm thinking that's it let's go ahead and actually start doing some path blocks in here now to map this area down Eee, that does not look good right there. Bink, let's pop that out. And miscellaneous backpack. I need you because you have sand in there. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead and drop that in there. And now let's finish doing all the rest of these path blocks and make this place pop. All right, there we go. Got the path blocks put in. Of course, I did not uh, jazz up this place at all. So it just kind of looks like this bland old vanilla Minecraft cave. I want to change that up a bit. Adding a little bit of texture in places so that this definitely looks more like a custom cave because it is. So, so let me just sw uh, quickly uh, swing in here and actually do a little bit of placing some, placing some blocks. I don't like that one throughout the feng shui. Uh, placing some blocks and getting this place looking a little bit more like an actual custom cave. Boy, this is, uh, I carved this one kind of weird actually. This doesn't this isn't going to be very easy. Okay, that's actually coming together quite nicely. The customization of the cave is finished. I even went ahead and added the roots hanging out of the ceiling because I still like that detail. Even if it doesn't make much sense because I'm pretty sure we're pretty far underground. So there wouldn't be any roots. But it definitely gives you the feel like you were underground though. You know, not just in a cave, but you're also deep underground someplace. Yeah, alright, I'm liking that. Now, there is that spot back there that's kind of flat. And I know over here I added like kind of a little bit of a support to kind of blend it in with the rest of the mine shaft thing. And I, I wouldn't mind doing something else like that in here as well. So let's go ahead and pop into the wood backpack. Grab ourselves out some fir wood, which is the wood I'm using to do all these supports. And let's knock this part back right here. Let's bring that all the way up. And this is I'm actually going to knock back just a little bit more. Like so. And we're going to put a support right here. Bam, just like that. Uh-huh. Adds a nice little depth to it there. Now, what I wouldn't mind doing... Uh, because I wouldn't mind actually adding, like, a little false tunnel thing back there. But I don't want to overdo it, because it's not supposed to be the main focal point of this exhibit. But what I could do, actually, instead of doing that, let's go ahead and drop the rest of this back in there. What I could do is... Oh, no, it's actually in there. Grab these things. And we could pile up some resources kind of alongside here. Um, to make it, to make it look kind of like this is actually kind of an important area. Something even like that. 
Hmm. I don't really like it too much, but something maybe like that, even. This kind of doesn't really work so well for me, but we could actually have it so that this is growing back into there, just like that. That doesn't look that bad. Now this looks kind of flat here and boring. I wonder if we could actually take like some gravel or some uh, some like, it's as if some of the stone kind of fell down on this area, like right there, and is blocking up this area. Yeah, there we go. Okay, look at this. It's gonna tell a story. <laughs> this part right here will be like a collapsed section uh, that kind of caved in. Now to do that, I might need to actually change this up a little bit and get myself some stairs actually instead. Let's grab a couple of them and then, uh, yeah, because we can make this look kind of broken down and run down and like it's really falling apart, actually. I think this might work a lot better. Something like this. And then, do we have gravel? Hold on, wait, there's gravel somewhere. Gravel exists in this game, doesn't it? Let's go in here because I've been throwing everything in there. My miscellaneous backpack is chock-a-block full of stuff that probably needs to get emptied by. Uh, let's go ahead and remove that, 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 and that, and that can probably stay right there. All right, so we're going to put gravel in places like this here to kind of show that it's collapsed. And I do want to put some stone like, well, yeah. Yeah, let's fill it up full of gravel. <laughs> fill it up full of gravel to make it look like it's collapsed in there completely. Like so. All right, so that should work, right? Yeah, it kind of does. All right, now what I could do, actually, I know it's not as wide as the other areas. I am just eating stuff in there when I don't really think I need to, but uh, what I <laughs> what I should do, even though it's not going to be as wide as the other areas, is I'm going to actually add a support beam here as well, and that'll make it look kind of like that was actually like a mine area right there. You see what I'm talking about? And then maybe we'll even do this side of uh, uh, the cross member here, kind of supporting it. Yeah, all right, so let's look back here. So it's not a false tunnel back there where you would have, like, uh, mine tracks going in and whatnot, but it is kind of like it's part of this, you know? But obviously this is, what, one, two, three, four across the middle, and that's only two, so it's like a mini one. But that's okay. It adds a little bit extra detail. kind of adds to the mystique a little bit. Uh, and uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a squid backpack. It's something I desperately need in my life, and grab some of these things. And we are going to go ahead and add these things in here to kind of block this area off completely from even the lizards from getting in there. Actually, something like that, I think we find. I don't think they can squeeze in there. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. All right, and of course, I went ahead and sprinkled pebbles around all over the place because they would definitely be in here. One thing I, one thing I kind of want to do a little bit, though, is because this flat area up here just isn't really working for me, I kind of want to change this up just a wee bit to have at least just a little bit of block change, or like a little elevation change there going, because that was really kind of messing with me, messing with my vision. All right, I'm thinking that's not too bad, okay? I'm thinking that's pretty good. I think it's about time we move on to the actual veg, oh no, lighting. We gotta do lighting. I was about to say vegetation. Sorry about the lighting first, because lighting sucks in here. Let's, <laughs> let's go ahead and grab out some of these dead leaves, because I think they're gonna come in real handy. And let's go ahead and pop into this right here and grab uh, some glowstone. Because I think once we get rid of some of these things in here, it's gonna really be bad. Uh, squid backpack. Do you have any more of these? I have one heat lamp in here. That's probably not good. I'm probably gonna have to go make more of those. Problem is, is I, I need glowstone for those, and I think I might be running out. I think these six might be all I have. So the heat lamp, I think it's gonna be a little too far away to be really effective on this one. So maybe I won't even be using it. But let's uh, let's pop this bad boy out here and pop this bad boy out right there. Pop that down and put that on top of it. Yeah, it's kind of visible through there, but it definitely lights that up. And it, uh, it kind of, I don't know, I think it kind of works. It's, it's not that bad. Uh, I do kind of, I could also bury it one block deeper, but then the light won't reach as far. Actually, what will that look like? Actually, you know what? That's not that bad. Okay, that's not that bad. Put a leaf block underneath it too, so the light still gets in there. Look at it down there. Yep, that actually works out pretty good. So, I gotta go through and actually adjust the lighting in here. Probably using these things actually as uh, these glowstones uh, as my way of doing it. Let's get the right tool for the right job there. Let's put that down there. Now, will that one be very noticeable from over here? Not really. Okay, that one's not as bad. That one was kind of in your face. But that lights that area up really nice. And this area right here doesn't really have that luxury of having a spot to put one of these things. So, can the heat lamp go here? It can actually probably tuck right behind there and not be very visible at all. It is a little bit. Maybe I can hide that a little bit better. Hold on. All right, yeah, that's better. Look at that. All right, so the lighting in this is already looking pretty good. Like, considering... Actually, that's looking very good. So it's a little dark here in the front, which I have a way to fix that. 
because right down here there's an elevation change that you can't see. So we're going to go ahead and put a piece of glowstone there, and we're going to put that there, and bam, just like that. Look at that. Lights that whole place up very nicely. Now, there is a couple of dark spots-ish, like right in here-ish, but it's not that bad. So I think we're just going to let that slide. Yeah. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Let's uh, let's stow the rest of the glowstone, and we're going to also get rid of the dead leaves for right now. And we'll just squirt whatever else in there. All right, so let's get on to the plants now. What can I put in here to make it look dead and also alive? <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm guessing a dead uh, brush every, or a dead bush every once in a while, as well as maybe like a bush with actual berries on it too, maybe tucked away someplace, somewhere like back here. And then we'll go ahead and sprinkle in a dead bush in the foreground to really make it look like this is kind of a drier area. And you know what? That might actually be all I need to do for the dead bushes. I don't really want to go too much with that. Um, barley would also make a lot... Well, I mean, it's not like a plains or anything like that. But I used barley right there, and I thought that looked actually pretty good after, after coming to terms with it. So let's go ahead and actually put some of that in here, too. Now, the vegetation itself, I don't really need too much of. In fact, that might be good enough. I don't really need too much of it because I don't want to go over overboard with this thing. Um, there's still some desert grass, which I kind of plan on sprinkling in places for sure. Let's go ahead and do that right around here and stuff. Uh, use that up as much as we can to make it look like that actually is like some drier area. Kind of like what we did back here. But I did let the sand and also the sandstone do the talking back there. Um, and in here, though, we could, we could put some dried bamboo, I suppose, if I can find a place for it. I didn't really leave a place for that. You know what? Never mind. We're not, I can never fit a, a dry bamboo in places where I think it would come in handy. Thorns obviously are out. I don't really want to kill the uh, kill the Gila monsters, so we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle in a couple of these uh, um, these dead leaves kind of around where the bushes are because they would absolutely kind of drop leaves every once in a while. So let's uh, let's just do that right there, bam. And maybe 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 one more up there. All right, let's see. What does that look like? Not too shabby. All right, let's squirt those back in there. I'm not sure if there's anything else I want to do with the vegetation, because remember, this isn't very lively or lush. I could put sea oats. Sea oats don't look too bad, but I think sea oats kind of show that there's, like, water nearby. Even though I use them in here, that doesn't really make much sense. But I needed a little bit more in this, because there wasn't a lot to go in this. This one, though, has a lot more grass in it. So I don't really need to worry about relying on sea oats to kind of mix it up. On this one, I can absolutely just take some bone meal and grow the grass bigger, which I think I'm going to do right about now. There we go. I even left a flower in there. How about that? I'm getting so much better at that. You know what? It's bugging me now. Never mind. I was going to brag about it, but <laughs> but it's bugging me now. All right, let's take that out. And what do we got? What do we have actually for flowers? Are there any flowers that would make sense in like a brush land other than these ones because those will kill the animals? I don't really think so. Actually, right there. Bam. Well, these might work. A little orange right here. I mean, it works, but I gotta move it someplace else. Hold on. Okay, right there. That's the only place I could find. <laughs> it's the only place I could find that I actually enjoyed. So, we're gonna go ahead and just leave that there. Get rid of the rest of this stuff. Put my shears away, too. Um, yeah, I think that I think that works. Okay, we got our one flower in here. Look at me moving up in the world. I'm actually using a flower for something. Okay, I think that's about it, really. I mean, what do you guys think? Does that look like a brushlands area, kind or uh, like a scrubland kind of area for uh, where you might find one of these things, actually? I think so. I mean, boy, it's kind of tough to say. I don't really know these things too well, but it is supposed to be like Arizona, Nevada, Utah, well, Arizona, Nevada, and uh, New Mexico kind of that area, Southern California, stuff like that. That's kind of the, the, the biome that I'm going for when I'm doing this, and I'm thinking that works. Now, I know what you guys are wondering, though. Where's the glass? That's one question, but you're also probably wondering... Uh, that's not the right thing. Hold on, where's my glass backpack? You're also probably wondering, uh, where is... or how many uh, Gila monsters do I have? And that's an excellent question. I don't actually know off the top of my head. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go and take a peek, but first I'm going to drop this glass in here so that we actually have this exhibit sealed off properly. And then, uh, then I'm going to go check. All right. All sealed off properly. Check it out. Bam. That's the exhibit. Hopefully you guys like it. Something about the outside here doesn't really sit well with me, but I'll, I'll mess with that maybe after after the recording. But got the glass put in right there. This is the Gila Monster exhibit. Definitely looks pretty good. Now, I found a lot of these guys out in the desert, and I left some out back there. So, 
I'm definitely going to go grab more if you guys come up with some tremendously good names. But I don't want to obviously pack too many of them in there because otherwise they're going to be cramped. Unlike the turtles here who have a ton of space. Look at them. They're adorable. Uh, but I do. I will go catch. I will go catch more of these things if I need to. But I have to get down into my little hidey hole here and figure out just how many I currently have after I killed this little baby zombie. All right. I've got three of these guys. All right. I've got three Gila monsters with the ability to go catch more. Okay, so if you guys could head on down into the comments section, tell me what you think about the exhibit, if you guys like it, if you think it needs a little something more. I forgot to put the cauldron of water in there, didn't I? Hmm, I'll squeeze it in there somewhere. Uh, it'll be there in the next episode. So. Alrighty guys, I'm going to wrap things up here though, so if you did enjoy this, please go down and smash that like button, it would help me out a ton, and hopefully you guys have a wonderful Friday. I'm actually working on today. Ugh, work, work, work. Alright, so... But yeah, if you guys did like it, uh, the video, please hit the like button before you go. Have yourself a wonderful Friday and wonderful weekend, and I will see you guys next week. Uh, thanks again for watching, everybody, and bye bye